They're cute, they're cuddly, but they also poop a lot. While most people pick up after their dogs, many don't. The rate of pickup is less in off-leash dog parks. And um, when you take a step back, it, it does make sense, given the fact that uh, the dogs do run on their, on their own. Much of that waste ends up in local waterways. A study out of Kitchener found fish in the Grand River have been negatively affected by dog feces. Basically, it kills older fish over young fish, and it changes the behavior of fish in general, young and old, and causes uh, lesions to, uh, to grow on their bodies. You may have noticed a few of these bins around Hamilton, Halton, and Niagara. They're called Soterra in-ground waste containers. We designed a system that reduces smell, uh, takes away the visual mess, and our system has no lid. It's just a tube coming out from the ground, so there's no touch point. The bins are then either vacuumed out or a specially designed truck with a crane empties them. A crane comes off and picks up the, um, the, the bag from underground repositions it over to the truck and empties it, and then repositions the reusable bag um, back into the well. Soterra then takes that waste to a facility that turns it into energy. The $3,500 bins are offered to municipalities for free, with Soterra being paid monthly to maintain them. We've tried to take the uh, liability and turn it into a resource as a renewable energy. Uh, when we first started, the alliteration of poop power came, uh, got some traction. This idea started five years ago when the city of Mississauga discovered 97% of its garbage bins had dog waste in them. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News.